In this video, I'm going to uh, demonstrate some of the basic SketchUp skills for modeling molecules. Um, let's start with um, viewing. You can uh, zoom in and zoom out using the scroll wheel. You can tilt if you press down on the scroll wheel and uh, move the mouse. And then there's panning and you uh, select the uh, hand from the toolbar. This means you can move right and left, up and down. And then uh, another view capability is under view on the menu. You select face style and then x-ray and you can see inside objects. And there's nothing to see inside this object but when we're modeling molecules we'll be using this a lot. Okay, now um, let's turn that off. For a lot of the things that you do with um, the toolbar you're going to uh, first of all select objects so you have to uh, click on the select icon over here on the um, the toolbar and that enables you to select objects like that one right there we we'll just uh, click on it okay now what do we what can we do when we select an object well we can uh, copy it for one thing so let's copy this and then paste like so and we can also move it and to move objects once they're selected, you can see this is selected because it's got an outline of a blue box around it. Um, to move an object, you uh, click on the um, the move icon, which um, is this cross of arrows. Then you click on the object, and now it'll move. It'll follow around, and when you want to um, keep it in position, you click again, and it'll stay there. Now let's say that um, we want to connect these two objects and form them into a common object. Well, the first thing that we want to do then is um, attach this surface to this surface, and that means we have to rotate it around. Now, to rotate an object, we go over here to the Rotate tool, and we get this uh, compass or protractor, and we click on some space where we can use it, and you'll notice that the icon has changed to two arrows chasing each other around, and now we're going to rotate this 180 degrees, and you can see it went way over there. So, but that's okay. We'll just bring it back. All right. Now we want to attach these two objects together. And let's say that we want to um, make this point and this point line up. Okay. Well, then we um, zoom in, and you'll notice that as I approach this point, that little dot changes color, and that's um, SketchUp inferring that we want to click there. And we do indeed. So we click there. Now we're going to move this over here and you can see that dot reappears and that infers that we want to match those uh, two points up and we do so we click again okay now these th things are joined but um, they're only uh, joined in terms of location if we want them to be joined in terms of a group we have to um, um, group them together and we can do that by selecting again and this time we want to select these two objects together. So we're going to press down on the shift key. When we do that, notice that a plus and minus appears next to the selection icon. So we will uh, click there, and now two objects are selected at the same time. And we're going to make a group out of them. And that's real c easy to do. We just uh, go to edit, make group, and now this is a common group, which means that we can move it around together, and uh, we could also copy and paste it together. And then you also have the capability of, when you get tired of a group, you can explode it like so, and then these objects can be moved independently. Well, first we have to go like that, and then we can select one. And now we can move it independently. So those are some of the basic skills that we're going to be using in modeling molecules in SketchUp.